Welcome to this course on accounting for deferred taxes. The name deferred tax is something new. So many of you would be wondering what is this deferred tax. But if you are going to be part of financial system in any organization or if you are going to take up the role of accounting or finance in your career, then you cannot escape this term called deferred tax. We know what is tax. But what is this deferred tax? If you're a frequent reader of financial statement, for sure you would come across this term called deferred tax. And behind this, there are lots of confusion and lots of myths in arriving at this deferred tax. So this course is going to take you through what is this deferred tax. Before that, let's have a basic introduction. We know that when any business entities generates revenue, that revenue would be shared among its stakeholders. So who is stakeholder? Stakeholder can be the owner of the company. So what is the share he takes? He takes the profits which are available for him in the form of dividend. Then who are the other stakeholders? The other stakeholders can be like banker who had given loan to the business so they take their return in the form of interest. There can be other stakeholders like employees. They take their return in the form of, let's say, salaries and wages. Of course, there will be other stakeholders like creditors who will be charging extra charges if they are giving credit. Otherwise, they take their profit from the product which they are selling. So everyone takes their share of return when a business generates revenue. When everyone can take their share, why not the government? The government which provides all the infrastructures, all the facilities, which creates the environment for operation, which provides all its approvals. Why not the government can also participate in this revenue? Yes, the government can participate in revenue. The government can also share the revenue. How the government will share the revenue? The government will share the revenue in the form of taxes. So when you earn revenue, you are sharing it with many. You are also supposed to share it with government. So government will share the revenue in the form of taxes. So when we say that revenue have to be shared to the government in the form of taxes, what are the taxes? There are various types of taxes and it depends upon country to country. In India, if we take, we have taxes like income tax. I mean, wherein the tax will be levied on your income. Then we have sales tax. We have wealth tax. Then there are uh, excess duties. So in this way, there are various number of taxes. Now, how this tax is computed or how this tax is derived? Tax is computed by applying certain percentage on your income. If you're running business, then this income is nothing but your profit. So understand, Tax is something which is applied as a percentage on profit if you are running a business. But now the question is, what is the profit? The question goes deep to what is profit? Because we will carry two profits in business. We will be having two profits in business. What is the two profits? Yeah, we will have two profits because one profit which is as per our books of accounts will be maintaining books of accounts and that books of accounts will help us to prepare the income statement and balance sheet so this income statement will tell us what is the profit we have earned and again this profit is derived after following all the accounting policies generally accepted accounting procedures so following the gap or following the accounting standards following everything will prepare or will find out 
what is proffered by preparing the financial statements. So we find what is the profit as per the books of accounts maintained by us. So through this books of accounts we will prepare this income statement and balance sheet and we derive what is the profit. So is it this profit on which this percentage is applied so that the tax can be derived? Answer is no. Answer is no. Why it is no? It is no because already I said the income tax is applied as a percentage on the profit as per the rules and regulations governing the income tax. So income tax is not bothered about what is your books of accounts or I'm sorry what is your profit as per books of accounts. Income tax follows its own method to find out what is your profit. So your profit is going to be different from what you have declared as profit as per your books of accounts. So as per your books of accounts you may have your profit but as per income tax rules and regulations. As per income tax rules and regulations you may end up showing a different profit or it may so happen that you may report a loss also. So it is highly possible that on one side you report a profit on the other side you report the loss and vice versa and I said this percentage is applied by following rules and regulations on the profit which is computed as per income tax rules and regulations. So you are going to have two different profits. Of course you will be reporting only one profit in your financial statements but when it comes to computation of tax there is another profit which is derived as per your income tax rules and regulations. Now let us assume you have profit as per your books of accounts as say uh, 1 lakh dollar. This is your profit. Your profit as per your books of accounts is 1 lakh dollar but your income tax record says your profit is not 1 lakh dollar it is 2 lakhs dollar. So your actual profit is 1 lakh dollar but following rules and regulations of income tax department you reach your profit as 2 lakh dollar. So in this place your ideal tax should have been let's say tax rate is 30 percentage your ideal tax should have been only 1 lakh into 30 percentage let's say 30,000 dollar but you are going to pay tax of 2 lakhs into 30 percentage 60,000 dollar. So here comes the conflict between your tax because your profit is 1 lakh you have to pay tax of only 30,000 dollar whereas your income tax rule says your profit is 2 lakhs so you have to pay tax of 60,000 dollars. So you end up paying excess tax. A similar situation or opposite situation can arise wherein you may have more profit in your books of accounts and less profit in your income tax. Let me give that also. Let's say you have profit of a 5 lakh dollar in your books of accounts and your income tax record says your profit is only 3 lakh dollar. So when your profit is 5 lakh dollar your tax should be 5 lakh into 30 percentage it should be ideally 1 lakh 50 thousand dollars whereas your income tax rule says your profit is only 3 lakhs so you'll be paying 3 lakhs into 30 percentage only 90 thousand dollars. So what's happening here? You are supposed to pay 1 lakh 50 thousand tax but you are paying only less whereas in this scenario you are supposed to pay less whereas you are actually paying more. So in one scenario you are paying more, in another scenario you are paying less and why all this happens? It all happens because of what is known as timing differences. This is what we are going to learn in this course. What is timing differences? Because of timing differences what happens is we defer our taxes. 
we defer our taxes something may be paid in advance something may be paid in future so there are certain deferment arrangements that's going to take place that's what we are going to learn in detail in this course